Even if one dedicates their entire life to traveling, there will still be new places on Earth that are unimaginable. Eerie, fantastic, mesmerizing, shocking, and defying earthly logic. Because for nature, there is no rule except one, diversity. We have gathered for you 20 fantastic places on the planet that you probably could only see in your dreams. Follow these plots and wake up. You are on the Top Facts channel. Enjoy watching. In Western Venezuela, in the area where the Catatumbo River flows into Lake Maracaibo, lives a storm that never subsides. It begins daily at 7 in the evening and rumbles for 10 hours every night. The show in the sky goes on for 260 nights a year, and it's unclear why this happens in the same area. A scientific theory has recently emerged to clarify everything. It is supposed that the constant flashes and discharges have some relation to the high content of uranium in the bedrock. A more popular version is that the shape of the mountain causes winds to clash. Warm trade winds collide with cold air currents from the Andes. The collision is fueled by evaporating water from the soil. Plus, there are oil fields nearby, meaning free methane gases. And there you have it, a storm. The locals have become so accustomed to the nightly storms that, when once in 2010 the storm ceased, they thought it was the end of the world. Six weeks later, it flared up again, and everyone breathed a sigh of relief. Everything is going as usual, still sparkling and thundering non-stop. Somehow it's more customary. People have unlearned how to sleep in silence. It becomes anxious. This river flows in the Amazon, and as the name suggests, it boils. Several kilometers of boiling water in the depth somewhere in Peru. It's true. That is, it's so hot that any creature that falls into this water will be boiled alive. First, the eyes go blind, then the head fails. So due to pain and shock, the victim has no chance to swim away, no choice but to perish in this river. Researchers claim that the water here heats up to 91 degrees Celsius. Usually, hot lakes and springs are associated with volcanoes. This is not the case here. There is a theory that the water spreads along the fault lines of the Earth's crust and is heated from below. Hence the formation of a geothermal system, the likes of which are not found on Earth. In Austria, there is a remarkable natural attraction called the Green Sea, or more accurately, the Green Lake. Here, there is a beautiful walking area, a path with benches. But to go for a spring jog, you'll need equipment for underwater swimming. The park is located near a mountain, and after the winter snows melt, the lake overflows its banks and literally floods the park. In spring, bridges and benches will be underwater, and you will also see wonderful alpine underwater flowers. However, divers who dive here must have a certificate and training. Because of the melting snow, the water temperature can vary from 4 to 7 degrees Celsius. Underwater photographers are also allowed access to the site, but they must have accreditation. On the Japanese island of Hokkaido, there is a lake unlike any other in the world. Its water has an unusual bright blue hue that changes color when viewed from different angles. Along with the weather and seasons, the mood of the lake is changeable. The color transitions from blue to green and fluctuates constantly. You could come today and find the lake as blue as a swimming pool, and a few weeks later, it's emerald green. Locals say it changes color at the whim of the gods. When a dam was built here, the water was trapped within its boundaries. To everyone's surprise, the water suddenly changed color. Scientists say that the new shade appeared thanks to particles of aluminum hydroxide that mixed with the water. These particles reflect blue light more brightly than any other body of water on Earth. Lake Hillier in southwest Australia is unique in the world. Its water is pink in color. We are accustomed to water being blue. Anyone who has seen at least one lake has no doubt about it. But there is an exception to every rule, and it is before you, a lake the color of chemical chewing gum. It was discovered in 1802 by British explorer Matthew Flinders, and this thrilling discovery amazes people to this day. Even if you pour this water into a bottle, it retains its crazy color. Despite the high salt content, swimming in it is safe, however. Visitors need to obtain permission from the Australian Department of Environmental Protection. 
There are several ways to get to this lake. Take a picturesque flight from Esperance Airport. Then you can appreciate the bright contrast of colors. The lake is located very close to the ocean line. Or you can take a water cruise. Both ways are very good. The Soviet Union has collapsed, but its influence is still felt everywhere. It's even a pity that the figures of that era do not witness the consequences of their destructive actions within the country. Lake Karache in the Chelyabinsk region is now a conserved collection of radioactive waste, which began to be dumped here since the 1950s. There is no place on the planet with such a high concentration of radioactive substances. The lake is so toxic that even standing near it is dangerous. Just one hour is enough to receive a lethal dose of radiation for an adult. During the time of waste disposal, about 150 million curies of radionuclides accumulated here. This is six times more than the amount at the Chernobyl accident. One can only be horrified at what consequences this could have caused and how it affected the environment. On September 29, 1957, one of the largest nuclear disasters in the world occurred. The Kishtim disaster in the closed city of Chelyabinsk 40. As a result, radioactive contamination spread over a vast area. The length of the radioactive trail was up to 300 kilometers. Of course, the waste got into the water, and three years later, the lake dried up, and radioactive dust was blown by the wind for another 1,450 kilometers. The edges of the lake were concreted, and the reservoir was filled in. But who knows how much trouble it has already brought, and what it still hides. Although we imagine Antarctica as perfectly white, one of its regions is called Bloody. The unusual phenomenon called Blood Falls is located near McMurdo. This American station is essentially the unofficial capital of the continent. The dry valleys were discovered in 1911. Previously, it was a mountain cascade, which later froze. Scientists have not explained why part of the rock was painted in such a bright shade. They only suggested that unusual types of algae could grow on it, but there is no evidence for this. The average temperature of the area was minus 17 degrees Celsius, and part of the glacier continued to thaw. That's what led to the idea of an underground cause of this phenomenon. Below is a network of subglacial rivers and a lake with a high content of iron salts. This is what provides the reddish tint, and this is why the glacier flows. The blood falls in Antarctica remains an ecological wonder. But besides the geology, there is something eerie about this place, like blood on the snow, don't you agree? In the west of Poland, there is a huge area where strange-looking trees grow. They look as if someone twisted their trunks at the base. Usually, trees grow vertically upwards, so the crooked forest causes an unpleasant feeling. There is clearly something wrong with it. Why did the pines suddenly start bending as if they were in agony? Some suggest that they were deliberately made to grow that way. Others say that this deformation could have been the result of evil snowstorms. Yes, hurricanes happen everywhere, but then several trees would have been maimed, not the entire array. It's strange, very strange, and reminds one of an ominous fairy tale. Sometimes the greatest secrets are hidden inside mines. There are daredevils who risk delving deep underground to witness incredible natural wonders. In Indonesia, there is a sulfur mine inside the Kawa Ijen volcano, and when workers go there at night, they turn off the lights because the mine illuminates itself. Bright blue light spills everywhere, emanating from a liquid oozing along the walls. This volcano has a unique feature. Its lava during eruptions is also blue in color, like a gas burner, and it's all due to the mineral composition. Sulfur gases inside heat up and explode, so the blue flame can shoot up to five meters into the air. The gas condenses into liquid sulfur and flows down the mountain slopes as a neon blue river. It's insanely beautiful but toxic, so spectators of this spectacle must wear respirators for safety. Ironically, the workers of this mine are the most careless about their health. They seem to think nothing affects them, but unfortunately, this is not the case. The toxic air slowly and relentlessly kills. Hopefully, someone will convince them to protect themselves. Experts say that the flat-topped Mount Roraima in South America could have been the habitat of ancient life forms, such as dinosaurs. Given its location in the dense tropical forests of Venezuela, this could well be true. 
The plateau rises 3,000 meters above the forest floor, and when viewed from the sky, it seems to float above the earth. This area has remained unchanged for a long time and has other impressive features. It's home to 5,000 species of the same plants that grew here 20 million years ago. If dinosaurs thrived in this environment so long ago, could something or someone from their time still remain? Scientists visited the mountain, but unfortunately saw no dinosaur. And the terrain is so inaccessible that only a part of it can be explored even with modern technology, while interest in this amazing place continues to grow. Isn't the mountain beautiful? One of the most fantastic places on Earth, its stunning colorful landscape looks so thanks to impressive geological features. The Rainbow Mountain, also known as Mount Gate, is located in the Peruvian Andes, and people from all over the world dream of seeing it with their own eyes. The mystique lies in the fact that each layer is made up of a mix of different minerals, such mountains we could only see drawn in Disney movies. Locals consider the mountain sacred and come there for daily worship. Scientists find nothing supernatural here, apart from the whimsical layering of layers over millennia of erosion and harsh weather. But how can one not be amazed by the richness of colors created by nature? At the top of a hill in Pennsylvania, there are deposits of strange stones. It is unknown how they appeared there. There is no higher cliff nearby from which they could have fallen. The natives say that these stones were here even before the arrival of European settlers. It is believed to be a natural phenomenon, while researchers are more concerned with an important mystery. If you strike these stones, they start to sound. This ringing is similar to the sound of a melodic percussion instrument, as if playing on metal plates. If you hit one stone, a low-frequency sound is produced, which is barely audible to the human ear, but if you start playing on several stones, the tones interact and produce almost a melody. We do not know why this happens, and the line of tourists with hammers here is endless. Everyone wants to try. If you know why this happens, write in the comments below and tell us why. It is unlikely that we can see clear boundaries between two continents, and it is even less likely that we can visit such places if they exist. But in Iceland, there is a spot. Here, you can swim in a crack between two continents. At the junction of the North American and Eurasian plates, the fissure, with a depth of up to 63 meters, is widening by two centimeters annually, creating more tension between the plates. And the fresh water in this region is considered the cleanest on the planet, and has excellent visibility. As a result, the crack has become a popular spot for diving and snorkeling. Even when the water temperature is just two degrees Celsius, it does not matter to the visitors of the glacier. The water is so crystal clear that during diving you want to drink it, and you could if not for the equipment. Only a few of the world's coral reefs have been studied. Those that lie at a depth of 40 or more meters but a huge part of the ocean in the depth range of 200 to 1,000 meters is known as the Twilight Zone. The inhabitants here, corals and some species of fish, are adapted to low light, although most of them can comfortably live in shallow water. In the central part of the Indian Ocean, there is an archipelago of seven atolls known as the Chagos Islands. The corals of this reef are completely healthy and could help shallow areas cope with the problem of mass bleaching. When coral experiences environmental stress, it loses its colors, imagine. Although a bleached coral is not considered dead, it has a higher risk of damage. Shallow water coral reefs are also prone to bleaching due to bright sunlight. Due to the remoteness of these islands, the reefs of the twilight zone remain a repository of corals, preventing the extinction of species. In 2012, researchers stumbled upon a coral reef while taking water samples at a depth of 900 meters near Cape Desolation in Greenland. They discovered the reef when their equipment crashed into something hard during descent. Naturally, this upset them, and only then did they find out that down there, at such a depth, were the corals of the Greenland Reef. A similar one was found in Norway, and unlike tropical waters, life on these reefs can thrive at temperatures up to 4 degrees Celsius and in complete darkness. They are not blessed with the enjoyment of sunlight, but they extract energy from zooplankton, which the ocean brings to the reef. 
life in immeasurable depths is full of mysteries. This is an incredible spectacle, unique on the planet, which everyone should see at least once in their lifetime. If you are used to seeing stars only in the sky, it is time to see them in the water. Head to Barros Island in the Maldives and discover an amazing phenomenon. The ocean around this island is painted in a crazy blue color. When a wave breaks, you see foam in the shade of electric blue. It seems that the water is illuminated by stars. The glow is caused by tiny plankton, which includes a built-in natural bulb to ward off predators. And when there is a lot of plankton, it provides a powerful backlight to beach leisure. This coastal desert in southern Africa named Namib differs from the others. Yes, it is also empty and barren, but it clearly harbors some secret. The entire surface here is covered with millions of mysterious circles. The size of the drawing ranges from 3 to 35 meters in diameter, and each empty circle is clearly outlined at the edges. A circle is formed by rings of desert thorn. Scientists do not know how they appeared and why they are here. However, there are two theories explaining this phenomenon. According to one version, there is an empire of termites underneath, which build according to their own laws, one circle, one colony. And according to another, these are artificial oases, when someone competed with someone else for possession of water. Some areas of Earth have been uninhabitable for millions of years, and no one bothered to look into them. Apparently, they were waiting for their awakening to life. Such a place was discovered by researchers in the southeast of Romania. This cave was presumably sealed off from daylight for five million years, which changed the composition of the air inside it from the Earth's atmosphere. A group of workers was exploring the soil in this area for construction safety, and they stumbled upon one of the strangest places on Earth. Descending through a narrow shaft and a series of tunnels leads to a grotto with a lake of sulfurous water. It smells like rotten eggs. The air inside is toxic and saturated with hydrogen sulfide. The strangest thing here is that the local ecosystem survives inside this toxic hell. Biologists have identified about 33 species of organisms that exist only inside this cave and nowhere else. These creatures have adapted to survival in the sulfurous atmosphere and feed on the foam that settles on the surface of the rocks. Well, what can I say? People survive in offices too. The English love gloomy legends. On the bank of the River Nid in North Yorkshire, there is one of the oldest tourist attractions in England, the entrance to a rock mine. It was believed that this place was cursed by the devil himself. Any object that was dripped on by water from this well immediately turned to stone, twigs and leaves, stuffed bears, and live birds. Visitors also noticed that the rock wall resembled a giant skull. Tourists who doubted this story experimented. They left their personal belongings here, and returned after a few weeks. They were amazed to find them in a completely different form. It is also said that the water from this well has healing power. At the same time, the most professional witch in England, Mother Shipton, a seer, was born near the well, produced into the world by a negligent mother. Whether it is magic or not, the process of petrification is a result of the high mineral content in the water, which creates a hard crust on the surface of objects. In the Italian village of Casorzo Piedmont, there is its own rural attraction, a cherry tree, which would look ordinary if it had not grown, on top of a mulberry tree. Yes, one trunk, two fruits. It would seem, in Asia, plants parasitize each other and kill off the donor tree. But here is a different story. Both trees are fully developed and healthy, each extending branches around five meters around. No one knows how this symbiosis happened. Scientists are still puzzled and the locals suggest that a bird might have brought a cherry on the cake, and the roots of the upper tree grew through the trunk of the lower one, reaching the ground. Which of these places made you want to visit? If you have a vacation coming up, think about maybe using it in a way that's not as usual. There is so much interesting in the world. Perhaps these will be impressions for a lifetime? We thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel, and press on one of our previous videos that appeared on your screen.